Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channels, and as we are talking about improving Windows, well, one of the things that I hope is going to be a priority in the updates of 20H2, we know that there's going to be rounded uh, edges to Windows, there's going to be kind of a really or a complete remake, a complete facelift of the Windows user interface. One of them, and they did mention that one of the things they wanted to do is work on some of the fonts in Windows. And I hope they do. Because one of the biggest problems in Windows is, depending on where you are and what you do, fonts are different. You could be even in the same settings app and have different fonts from one section to the other. And that is kind of weird. Um, I mean, there should be some kind of uniform some kind of really general fund that's used everywhere within Windows. And it should be the same. And, it, it you know, sometimes we think, well, it doesn't matter that much. Well, it, it can do a big difference, especially for people that have um, disabilities that um, make them kind of have a more difficult time reading the screen and uh, reading text and seeing of the different, you know, options and settings. If you change the font from one place to the other, it can make a difference between I can read here, but I can't read there. And it's not just the font that changes. It's the size of the text. It's different almost everywhere you go. There's, It's like, you know, 12 teams work together to bring a Windows UI, but 12 different fonts were used and 12 different uh, options were used because they all had a different view. There was not a central idea that this is the font we use. You know, when you write a text, what do we do? We, of course, try to keep that text within the same uh, font, same text size everywhere. A book does not have 35 different fonts in the same text. It actually uses different options depending on what it wants to uh, give out as information. But it's overall the same font in size throughout the text. So this is the same thing in Windows. It should apply to Windows and apply to all sections of Windows and not have different sizes, different options, and not always being consistent. I know that this is one of the things that's driving a lot of people a little crazy. The fact that there's no consistent font and text size and, um, you know, depending on where you are in Windows. Uh, so that's, I believe, something they are going to work on, actually, as they did say that they are going to rework the fonts and the texts. So that could be nice, the contrast of all of this also. You know, maybe make better contrast. I, I look at the, the settings app, and I realize while I'm doing this video that, you know, some of the texts are of different colors and kind of more difficult for some people to see. It's nice to see devices, but it's kind of fades out the Bluetooth printer's mouse here. It's not necessarily, you know, the way that it should be. Of course, there needs to be a way to tell us or hint at us what it could be, but I think it could be done better. I think it could be done in a way that it's easier for everybody to read. And, uh, well, we'll see what this happens also, the consistent size and um, of different windows and different options. I mean, more and more we are projecting our screens to big screen TVs. There needs to be a better way to do that so that everything is always perfect. No adjusting. The adjustment does it automatically. One of the problems that I see, I see people telling me, well, you know, it's useless to use windows in a big screen TV because I can't read anything. Yeah, well, that's because you can if you adjust the, the settings so that it actually gets bigger on your screen. Problem is, uh, many times it's not automatic. So you look at your main screen and it's nice and just the right size to read. You plug that on a big screen and suddenly everything's so small that it's impossible to read. There should be an automatic ad adjustment for that. Uh, sometimes there is, but sometimes there's not, and we need to have that automatic. We need to, you know, have to stop playing around. There should be some 
consistent way of Windows displaying correctly on different size screens and different types of screens. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.